Out-of-state investors, this show is for you. Today, we're working with Rashul and Tarek from California, and we're investing in Cleveland. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show on Holton Wise TV where we work together one on one, right? It's you guys, and then it's me and my team working together, mano a mano, to try to find you guys the best, most profitable real estate investments for you, okay? No one property is perfect. As a matter of fact, no uh, one property that is even, like say we found one that is perfect for you, that property might not necessarily be perfect all the time or for all of the prices, right? No one property is perfect for one investor, right? It's all about matching the right investor with the right property, but making sure it's at the right time and for the right price. That's what we do on this particular show, right? You give us all of your information. We find out your wants, your needs, your goals, your life situation, how much money you're working with, how you got that money. Is it a hard money loan, a regular loan? Do you need lenders? Do you want me to give you lenders? Do you need a home inspector? This or that? What's your risk tolerance? Blah, 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 blah. We figure it all out about you, and then I build an investment plan catered to you specifically. And that's what I'm doing uh, for Rushul and Tarek from California today. Which, by the way, folks, if all that sounds friggin' awesome and you want to work with Holton Wise, just send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your phone number. My team will reach out to you, set up a time, talk to you. Go over any of your questions, your wants, your needs, your desires, and we'll get the ball rolling. But what we're going to do today is we're going to work with Rashul and Tarek from California. Now, you folks have $75,000 in cash, and you are looking uh, for some Section 8 C-grade type investments, right? We did another video a couple weeks back, and you guys loved it. You liked the property. We submitted an offer. Uh, turns out we got outbid by another uh, another buyer, right? That that happens in this business, right? This is a, a numbers business. That's why it's very important, folks, uh, to be in this for the long haul, right? Like uh, we're looking at the very best types of investments we can find, right? So ideally, if I'm doing my job, the property is going to make you some money, right? All right. If I'm if I'm finding you properties that don't make money, I'm not doing my job, okay? So if the property makes money, what does that mean? Well, that means other investors are going to be interested too. So sometimes we do lose out on the deals. That's why we like to set up these long-term working relationships so my team can develop uh, your investment strategy and we could, you know, put forth – the amount of time, human capital, and effort it takes to really get you rolling, okay? And Rashul and Tarek, you guys have done a 10-property package with us, uh, so we definitely have all the time and resources available to helping you guys out. So we're back in the saddle again. Second property we are looking at for you folks is this one right here. Let me uh, get that squared away on the screen a little bit nicer. All right. Much better, much better. 17830, uh, Dillywood, Cleveland, 44119. This is the South Collinwood neighborhood, right? It's a little low C-grade type neighborhood. Uh, you work with some blue-collar stuff. Section 8 is awesome in this neighborhood. This is absolutely a neighborhood you want to go Section 8 on. This property, four days on the market. We do need to go quick. This is going to move fast. They listed it at a pretty solid price, 87500 Nothing wrong with that price because it's a damn nice property. We got one tenant paying 670 another tenant paying 650 So this thing brings in $1,320. As you can see, it's it's looking pretty nice, okay? It's, it's just a nice property. Now, these photos taken by the listing agent, a uh, person out of Reardon Realty, prior to the tenants moving in. So, yes, they're vacant, uh, but it's very common, of course, to get the photos uh, prior to the tenants moving in. All right, you got the hardwoods throughout. 
you know, you got the neutral color. They got the white in the kitchen. This, uh, by the way, right here, they, they made us a little note, okay? You see the, uh, the ugly wood paneling. Uh, they made a note that uh, since then, note wood paneling has been removed and room has been painted. So it actually looks even nicer uh, than what you see here, okay? Just another room here. There's a little attic, garage, bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what they said. Great, uh, let me go over here. Great two-family property on the best street in North Collinwood to add to your portfolio. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know what makes this the best street in North Collinwood, so we're just going, we're going to chalk that up to some fluff, okay? Uh, I, I, if you Google Earth it, which I have done, the street itself is, is fairly nice. But again, we're talking like a, a C grade, C grade neighborhood, low C grade neighborhood, okay? So. Uh, is this one particular street somehow better than the rest of North Collinwood? <laughs> Probably not. This duplex is well-maintained and fully occupied. Recent updates include two new furnaces. Okay, that's $6,000 right there, guys. Furnaces last about 30 years, and they cost three k a piece. So the fact that we got two brand-new furnaces, that's big. Electrical upgrade 2020. New vinyl flooring and showers surround an upper unit. Partially finished attic could be converted into a third bedroom for upper unit for additional income. Includes garage for off-street parking. Uh, Dillwood is a charming cobblestone street with close proximity to Euclid and commerce on East 185th the area benefits from the proximity to Euclid, which is desirable to tenants, resulting in low vacancies, professional management in place. Another cool thing about Euclid, uh, that's where the Amazon Fulfillment Center is here, right? Newer Amazon Fulfillment Center we have here in Cleveland, guys. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but there's a little thing out there called coronavirus. It's kind of fucking shit up, right? Well, guess what? What company has made the most money from coronavirus? Amazon, Jeff Bezos. I think the dude's like a, they say he's like a trillionaire right now. So if you're talking how to mitigate risks, folks, from not getting rent uh, when you're, when you're uh, dealing with a, a global pandemic like the coronavirus, there's two ways I like to mitigate risks. Number one, make sure my tenants get on Section 8, right? Can't lose your source of income due to coronavirus when it's government guaranteed. Number two, you want to have a job that's COVID-proof. I don't know any job that's more COVID-proof than working for Jeff Bezos, right? So. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. All that said, solid property. It's right in your uh, risk tolerance range. As far as the price goes, I think the price is fine at 87.5. I'm going to try, if uh, you guys want to move forward to the deal, I'm going to try to work out a little bit of uh, negotiation and try to get it for you a little bit cheaper. I'd like to pick it up at 85, but if you have to pay full price, there's no problem with that. If we can take this thing down, what do we get, right? Well, 1320 comes in. I have an Average estimate of 743 being spent on average every month to operate the property. And you'll notice I have went in there and calculated 792 a year for repairs and maintenance, for vacancy and non-payment, for capital expenditures, right? The majority of our capital expenditures, we just spent six grand. The seller just spent six grand. Uh, fixing up those furnaces. So we don't have to worry about that for a long time, right? But the roof, the roof is uh, older, right? I, I'm under the impression the roof is getting near the end of its useful life. And that's a bigger property, so that's probably like a $7,000 roof. So we might need to do that in the next five to seven years, okay? So we're calculating that in. We're saving that. We're not counting that towards our return, even though that money's going in your pocket today, right? So even with all that, still should net off almost 7000 a year, I would love to see you guys finance this. No reason to pay cash, right? Let's stretch out your $75,000 as far as we can. Let's have you guys only use $21,000. Have one of my lenders or your own lender, if you have one, loan you $63,750, which, by the way, folks, if anybody else out there is watching today's show and you need lenders, if you are an investor and you're looking for a 30-year low-interest, fixed-interest loan, sales at holtonwise.com, my team will get you our list of lenders, all right? So... If you only put down your 21000 after you pay off your mortgage, I believe you guys should still clear 3700 a year on this thing, which makes this a 17.4% return on your investment, right? And you're in an area 
that is in close proximity to Amazon. And this is the type of area over the long haul we want to go ahead and put Section 8 tenants in there. And as far as that third floor, they are correct. Uh, currently, right now, the current owner is just using it for storage. Uh, so probably like on your next tenant turnover, you'd want to include that with the upstairs unit. That would take the rental amount of the third third and second floor unit, right, the top unit. That would take that rental amount probably up to about 800 a month, 775 to 800 a month. And as far as your downstairs unit, 650 that's a great rent, but we could actually increase that up to about 750 Our Section 8 tenants are paying approximately 750 uh, for the two beds, and we should be able to get you close to eight for the three bed. Both of these tenants uh, are regular current cash paying tenants, but I just want you guys to think about what we could do going forward in the future, right? So there's even a little bit of meat on the bone. That's why there ain't nothing wrong with the price, and I think you guys got to move pretty quickly on this one if you want to take it down. So reply to the private email if this deal makes sense for you guys. If for whatever reason it doesn't, uh, just give me your feedback, let me know, and I'll hit the drawing board. And when I make you your next video, uh, I will make uh, the necessary adjustments. I'll take the additional feedback uh, to heart, and I will move in a different direction for you. Everybody else, as I said at the top of the show, if you're interested in working with us, send my team an email, sales at holtonlines.com. Give us your phone number. We'll talk to you. You could also click the links below. Info on how to work with us is there as well. And the new viewers out there who are not ready to do any of that, just make sure you do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.